So, um, I believe, I believe I'm live right now. Um, this is cool. I'm live on YouTube. I'm live on Twitch, which uh, I will be uh, using as my main source. Source, you know, for your uh, questions and for your track uh, URLs. And what I will do now is that I will share. Uh, I will share the link to <laughs> to our Facebook group to get some more viewers and we can start um, you know we can start working on the on the future based track that we um, on the future based track that we started uh, uh, during the light uh, during the last live stream and meanwhile uh, you can send me your tracks to the uh, to the chat feed here on, you know, here on Facebook, uh, sorry, here on Twitch, and uh, after a certain amount of time, I will be going through these tracks and I will give you some feedbacks and so on and so on. So uh, let me share it to. You. Hey, Christian, how are you? I really hope you can hear me. I'm trying to improve the whole process of <laughs> of uh, creating live streams because it's just you know so complicated. Uh, the video after rendering you know looks really weird bef because uh, like uh, first several minutes are just me setting up all th all things while being live, but I I'm not sure how to fix that. But I will find a way to fix that soon. So here I have my Facebook. Here I have my Twitch. What's up, Brian? Nice to nice to see you there. And I believe we are ready to go. I really believe so. So it looks like we have a new follower, which is a great um which is a great thing. So uh let me now play you let me now play you uh, the future based track. You know, one more Facebook message. What I will do is that I will open the Facebook chat here also so you can see what actually I'm creating. That's cool. We can go to it. Hey, how long are you doing in FL Studio? Hey, David. You can. <laughs> I am in FL Studio. I'm working for for like nine years, I guess. Yeah, it's. I'm. You know, I'm, right now I'm 24, and I started. I think uh, when I was 15 years old. So that makes nine years. <laughs> so one last message to the Facebook feed. We have already 32 viewers, which is, which is actually amazing. So, mm. so yeah, here is the track. Here is the track and... So this is what we've got so far, and uh, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking about this track and how to improve it, and I think we are ready to go to uh, like uh, leave this part for now. Like uh, let's let's call it let's call it drop, but we will uh, I guess we will improve it a bit more la uh, later this day, and uh, we are we are we are free to to start creating. Um, 
the part before the drop, which means the verse and maybe also a build up, you know, so uh, we will start like slowly and we will then bring some atmosphere to the drop and maybe that will, that will, you know, bring some ideas to my head and uh, you can, you can also, uh, you can also just write me on Twitch what you would like to do and I will add, I will add there the, you know, the ideas. So, uh, any new messages in chat? Hello, here's my future bass track. Okay, I will check it later today. Will you check my demos later? I will. Uh, what's up? Great. Greetings from Belgium. Hey, nice to meet you. I am from Czech Republic, which is actually, you know, we are, we are in the same continent and that's cool. So, uh, you know what I tried to also uh, I tried to sorry for the sorry for the I tried to uh, improve my CPU which uh, which brings the question if I will be able to use the serum right now because I wasn't uh, I wasn't able to do that last time so let's try that okay it's working it's working pretty slowly but it's there and that's cool so uh, but yeah we will probably use these uh, some crazy serum sounds for the drop where we will get back to it later but let you know for now let's just take this uh, main melody that we have created let's open it in uh, in a new uh, pattern let's get rid of, get get rid of some of the plugins that we are not using and let's start creating some sounds you know we don't have spire still in the project so let's open that one and what we can do now is uh, as you can see these chords are pretty like complex you know they are uh, there are several layers in each octave so what I will do is that I will uh, you know a great great like trick that I'm using all the time is that I put this sampler on the on the very first spot in the in the whole like you know in the whole plugin section and that way when I delete some um, you know notes I'm able to see the ghost notes which are actually not playing because they are they are there just for for me to to be able to uh, see in what key I am and what what uh, sounds I, sh I would be able to use so let's close this engines stuff and that way I can easily you know delete some of these sounds some of these midi clips and uh, still I will be still able to uh, put them back later because I know exactly which ones I deleted so it's good to see that you are flowing me Hi from Belgium. Belgium. <laughs> Hi from South Germany. Hello. You get us. <laughs> so yeah, you know, let's say that we already uh, made it about a bit more uh, easier uh, the the midis and here is the you know this is crazy. This is extremely long uh, buffer length. So. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. We, you know what? We. I will just leave it um, playing, I guess. Or, you know what? I will be. Cre I will be. I will create this preset from uh, without even listening to it. <laughs> Let's try that. We can do. We can just pick some uh, sine wave here. Maybe add some voices, detune it, and uh, the really. I'm not sure if you are creating uh, sounds in Spire, but this X compressor is just amazing. So uh, I will definitely use that. And what's also good is that you can see this like graphic, uh, you know, this graphic picture of the ADSR of the attack, DK sustain, and 
release of the of the sound and what you can also do there is that you can change the shapes by just clicking them but I will just do fine with these like uh, really, really sharp shapes because we are trying to create some plugs and what I will also do and now you know check this out uh, first you should be uh, you should like fill the empty gaps so the MIDI clips will be in lines and uh, what I actually want to show you is that I'm going to chop these sounds without uh, copying and uh, pasting them just like that. I'm not sure if you use this feature, but this chop feature is quite well. You know, you can just chop them into really small pieces. But uh, for now, let's try these. Let's try these pieces. And if you are not happy with the result, what you can do is that you can click this glue, and you know these <laughs> these chopped uh, parts will be glued again together. So yeah, let's chop them for now and see. What, we, what we've got here. No. Let's... So, yeah, so let's say that this is the basic idea of the plug sound. Uh, I just created some, you know, some random sound. And now we can layer the synths by using another oscillator. And uh, let's try, uh, I don't know, let's try this piano wave. See how that goes. Uh, we already have the ADSR values set it, so let's try this one. Sounds quite cool. We can, or I can make the uh, the length of the note a bit higher and create the plug effect by automating the filter envelope. Uh, hey, from Netherlands. Nice to see some Dutch guys here. That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, let's automate this filter. Uh, let's put our perfecto. You know, these these filter shapes are basically. Uh, they are not that different or I'm not sure if, if there is somewhere like uh, shown, you know, graphic design to the curves of, of, of the differences between these shapes. But basically mm, the acido is, is, is very useful for some acidized type of type of basis, basic uh, generally, because yeah, that's what that's why they called it acido. But I'm using uh, this perfecto because that one has really like the cut it that one is really cutting off the high frequencies and that's what we need you know the other ones are cutting it a bit smaller so you can still hear there are some higher frequencies which you actually don't need right now when you are trying to create a plug sound so um, this envelope is already connected with cut off cut off uh, Cut of button hidden up one. So let's try to keep it that way and see what we've got here. And as, as you could hear, I guess you could hear that by raising this attack knob, you immediately get 
a completely different sound than uh, you know when you when you have the attack set on zero because this way you you really like receive you're really receiving the straight plug sound but when you you know in, when you increase the attack a bit you are getting a wobbly type of plug or something like that and that's it that's a pretty cool sound and I think that's a very useful sound in future bass so let's try to do that and what we can also do is that we will um, or I will automate the attack envelope so the sound will be going from the straight plug to the like open attack plug let's see how that sounds you know just I really just want you to know that uh, I'm not preparing anything for for this session so I'm just doing what what came in my head and that way I can you know, be on the stream be on the same side as you guys and we can create something together because that's really awesome so I already made this automation for the uh, parameter I want it so let's see how that sounds So as you can see, it went pretty high. I mean, the attack filter uh, or the attack envelope went, pr went pretty crazy. So I will make it a bit lower. And what I will also automate is this, you know, cutoff filter because that's what's creating the main trick. So let's also automate that one and let lo let's also open it like this. So it's going from basically nothing because uh, there are no frequencies to be heard the beginning and let's open it to like half maybe let's see how it goes uh, meanwhile i will check some messages here from skype and hi ladet lady the man 20 nice to meet you and it's good to see that there are guys from all over the world you know here are some sweden guys uh svenski finland that's cool hey uh, yeah, I will be checking the demos later, but first let's create at least some sounds. Uh, let me check the audio settings. I will really have to make this as long as possible. I mean the buffer size. And you know what we can do also? That I will open this uh, FX sample, FX sample pack by AA Production and go through. sorry if they oh I'm sorry if they sounded a bit louder but they are loud so <laughs> you know it's it's a good it's a good sign it's a good sign that they sound loud because you can always make the sound like lower but it's really hard to make it sound that big so I just pick uh, an impact that will let's say that this is the very beginning from the, of the track so Let's see how what we've got here for now. So let's say I just went crazy and I, I want to I want to automate everything because I will also automate this uh, wet dry wet <laughs> delay up because it sounds pretty well you know playing with it so we can automate it just like that that after each eight bars it will go uh, it will go back to the basically zero but it will still be opening uh, for each section that way we can get some more like uh, I didn't know some more atmosphere from it maybe and uh, you know what I will also do is I, I will add some um, pianos 
to the background and I will do it just like that I'll do it just like that I will open these uh, true pianos I will hmm I will maybe oh, are also very loud so maybe let's turn it a bit lower and see what we got here hmm you know I really like these like low notes uh, these basically bass notes in pianos so let's try to achieve that yes hmm see how it sounds let's make the notes a bit longer so the so the each each piano hit will have the sustain needed and maybe these are too low but uh you know let's let's make it let's make them a bit softer by eqing them uh we can take off some of the mid low mid, mid frequencies and we can also add some of the let's say Valhalla verb um, at some decay and uh, what, what what we can also do is that we can maybe add some delay you know let's see what we've got right now This sounds a bit more. This sounds a bit simple. We don't. We don't want to sound simple. We want our tune to sound really advanced. So um, let's try to play with the rhythm of the piano, maybe. I mean, do you also hear the latency between me uh, clicking the note here and the note playing itself? It's crazy. Okay, this sounds this sounds cool. You know, changing the rhythm a bit. Jesus, changing the rhythm a bit. This is a great tool to make it sound more interesting so not all of these sounds are following the same notes because that would really suck and uh, it's not it's not what we need so I will just replace these notes and what I will also do is that I will go through these presets in there and you can see them here now let's try this Saphir pad and see how this type of piano sounds. As you can hear it's still opening and uh, this is not a whole like uh, idea but this these two sounds you know just this plug and this like background piano sound can be very useful and uh, they are doing some pretty amazing jobs so they are filling nearly all of the sounds we need in there but of course we will add some more later so first uh, because there are some new viewers and listeners here let me play you the drop that we have created last time and see what I'm actually working on here.
so this is what I've got so far uh, what I do like is this uh, drum fill that I've created last time and I can use um, I can use this fill for for the verses also just to um, add some extra sounds in there so let's try it to put to put them on place and what I also wanted to try is this oh I don't want to do that what I also wanted to try is this um, I believe you hear this vocal sound right it's it's, it's caused by uh, Nexus and uh, the expansion is, is called EDM voices or vocals I'm not sure but what I will do now is that I will turn on these uh, like you know MIDI clips we, we still don't have the track bounce here so I, I want to like create this only these uh, this one short bounce and and create a uh, audio file from these uh, vocal chops and I will do it like that you know I will put Edison on the mixer channel that I'm that I have the vocal chops wrote it to and I will just you know record these these solo vocal chops even though the rest of the music is playing I'm only recording the one mixer channel so let's do that just like that. So this is enough for now and now I have these uh, vocals bounced. I can use them for for the verse as well and I can you know create some crazy effects with them I can add some different um, also effects without um, without damaging the original vocal cuts from the drop because I really like those and I don't want to change them but I want to also to uh, like bring some of these vocal cuts to the verse itself so I will just slowly bring them to the game too I will do it just like that you know as you can see I already already placed them in the verse part but what I will do now is that I will row them to the mixer mixer track and I will add a filter here because I'm filtering everything in the verse obviously so why not also these guys and what I can also do and uh, what I'm doing quite often is that I will add a reverb in there let's say also Valhalla reverb and I will go from absolute wet sound you know from from 100% of, of the effect applied to some drier sound let's say I don't know 12 maybe we will see how that sounds sorry for that and boom here we are so when the filter is set at set it really low when uh, really some lower frequency from the sound is playing or are playing the Valhalla or the reverb is set pretty high so it is it's, it's going to sound like blurry or something like that maybe a bit more unspecified or something and uh, that creates a nice effect so let's let's check it out That's about it and uh, what I think would sound pretty awesome is when we add some um, some extra uh, drum sounds to the verse to the second part of the verse and uh, yeah let's add some clubs in there here is a pack that I used for the whole project it's called future bass and trap Amo. It's or ammo I'm not sure it's, it's released you know like a week back on double production and it,
pretty awesome. So uh, you can just put um, put these clubs in there, just like that. It's really cool to see some new followers on Twitch. It really means a lot to me. So thank you for following, guys. And uh, yeah, I think we will we will go to some like feedbacks right now. But let's see what we've got right now. Now that brings the right rhythm to the track. And what I will also do is that I will layer these claps with the kick sample, but really like short and deep one. I will cut off the high frequencies from there. Just like that. And to add some, only some uh, sub frequencies that will be following the club. Hey guys, hi, 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 hi. Uh, so let's see what you got here. I think we are on a good way, so let's make it a bit quicker. What I will do now is that I will add a bit of like white noise sweeper, white noise downlifter uh, to the to the beginning, and yo, someone told me to add kick fell like that, I guess. Just cheap. Okay, let's try it a different way. Let's try it just like this, just like this. And uh, right there, we can also create a nice snare fill. You know, let me play you the last part from the verse and also um, the first part of the of the drop. I will leave here an empty space because. Um, we can add there something later, uh, you know, some some fill or something like that. So let's try these. And also, what I will do before even playing you, what we got for now, I will add there a rising white noise effect that I will wrote to the same mixer channel. That is the first first one to save some space and see what we've got here. <laughs> Let's do some magic here because we will add a saturator on the on the main chord sounds and the drop to add some more harshness to the sound, some more uh, I don't know body maybe power because how it is now it doesn't sound that fat because still you know it sounds like chill track but we need the drop to sound really bigger than the verse. better if you have any ideas just uh, let me know I will edit I will edit in there um, 
Someone is speaking German. Oh, a lot of guys is speaking German in there. Dudes, don't speak German. Uh, no one can understand you, you know. Jungstripe, yeah, mm, okay. I mean, really, don't speak German because I'm not able to read it. The other listeners are not able to read it or viewers. And that way you are just killing the chat. So, hmm. What we can do now is that we can add maybe a Nexus pet in there. I'm so sorry to hear that uh, the stream is not working for you. I really hope you will fix the internet connection next time. Sorry, man. But uh, since I'm speaking to you through my webcam, you won't be able to hear that. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I just wrote a message to the guy. Um, what's up? What's up? Nice to meet you. Um, okay, so uh, I think we can add some pets in there. I really like these Nexus pets. But I'm not sure which ones are my favorite ones, so let's just go through them and see how they sound. What I will do now is that I will, hmm, yeah, I will definitely add it to to the right pattern because that one was well, was for chords. This one is for piano. So I will, you know, fuck that. I will just. Um, Make the chords progression a bit easier, so there there won't be that many layers. And uh, let's try what we've got here. Also, solo the mixer channel. Okay, this so wave sounds pretty nice, I think. Um, after some equalization, we can get a pretty cool background effect from that. And we will, okay, <laughs> it's already there. I will add automation for the filter envelope right here. Also to open the sound. And see what we will we we will receive from this uh, from this change from this layer <laughs> all right I will turn off the serum and I will pray this will help us because that this just went crazy I hate my computer but you know it's it's really a badass computer but uh, it just cannot handle uh, streaming I guess Sounds good, right? I mean, uh, if you think how the lags, if you don't mind them, it sounds really nice. A um, few few things I would like to change. I would like definitely to add there some more like effects. Hmm. 
just these low impacts because you know this this pack is called bigger than ever a fix essentials too and it's really awesome you can see that um the impacts in there are divided into three sections you know high low and complex that um that come that like fills the whole frequency spectrum so when i really need just some like low impacts i'm i just go to the to the to the impacts with low uh, to the folder with low impacts and i get and immediate results. <laughs> Sorry, I just wrote a quick message here to the guy from Twitch uh because um yeah if you have any ideas of how to get rid of these lags on 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 for my for my like fl studio uh, that cpu i would really appreciate it but meanwhile i can create some more tunes here i will add some more effects and that way uh Let's say that the verse is like that created into four versions, uh, into four parts, and each part is divided uh, with different um, impact sample. And for the last part, we will add some complex one, I believe. Uh, I need to route all of these samples to the mixer channel. This one is cool. What's my computer specifications? Well, I have, I've got, um, you know, let me open the, let me open it. I believe I just took a print screen of it. Recently. I have, I have around 35 gigabytes of RAM, I guess. Um, let's see it in there. Okay, so 32 uh, RAM gigabytes, and then I have these three point five gigahertz of processor i'm i'm running 64-bit uh, <laughs> windows uh, windows 7 i'm also running 64-bit fl studio so uh, i'm not much of the hardware guy but i'm not sure what is causing the lags i really do not know you know uh what i know about is that i'm not using an azo uh, audio driver because that way I won't be able to st to to stream live. So I'm using these um, virtual audio cables, and I'm also using this um, I'm also using this audio repeater where the latency is set to uh, to the max latency uh, basically, and that's 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 all what I can do <laughs> because. Uh, I won't be able to stream if I will set it different way, mainly the audio drivers. So, yeah, yeah, the ASIO, the ASIO is helping a lot, but it it just it's not possible to stream with uh, that audio driver. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, what I also wanted to do, and how can I raise the cage? Any ideas? I mean, where are cage? Huh? I don't know. Uh huh. Yeah. Be yourself to clone. I'm not sure what you mean, guys. Okay, so. Let's add some snares in there, and meanwhile I will get some answers, hopefully. And I will... Uh... I will be able to uh, fix the lagging. Hey, Snowly, if you can tell me what you mean by the, by the cage thing, I will definitely appreciate it. So, I'm adding some snares in there uh, to build 
short like build up but an easy one you know I will uh, replace or I will move this fix sample and I will also automate this pitch envelope to uh, create a rising pitch effect Let's see what what we will get in there, and also I will I will add just just a little little bit of reverb, just like that. Okay, I will also pitch the. I will also automate the pitch. Of, come on, I will also automate the pitch of the kick. That's a great idea. Let's do it. And what I will do is I will just connect this um, this pitch envelope to the to the one that I already created to the automation that I already created. So it will it will the pitch will go exactly the same as the snare one. I think that could help us. Yeah, I can add more effects in there. I can do a lot of stuff, but I need to first be able to even <laughs> listen something from my FL studio because right now it's it hits the maximum amount of used CPU and I I ever really want to use more plugins in there because that way I will, I will definitely ruin the sound but what I did there is that I automated the the, the volume envelope so the kick uh, will be uh, there won't be that much sounds together with the punch of the kick and that way the very beginning of the drop will sound a bit better. So that's cool. Okay, here is a guy that asked me uh, when did I start to produce and what do you think uh, is the best way to improve? Uh, I mean, guys, I, I know what buffer length is. <laughs> As you can see, it's really set it to the maximum amount. So. Uh, you know, <laughs> I really know about that one. Uh, at least uh, it's also there the buffer size is set to 2048 so yeah but back to the question um, yeah I started uh, nine years back and uh, I think the best way to improve is just watch tutorials and uh, create tons of tons of stuff you know you will definitely get there I mean even even though you don't have uh, that much like uh, experiences you can always you can always get them from videos and uh, nowadays there are just plenty of really amazing tutorials for example for, for you know from our YouTube uh, channel and also on uh, like future loops or something like a future magazine something like that that are creating uh, these tutorials with, with some really big names for example uh, a few weeks back I watched a tutorial from uh, by Daddy Grooves and it just gave me so much you know they were using some amazing techniques mainly on on their master channel so uh, yeah be definitely sure to check out all of these tutorials because uh, you don't need to use these techniques but uh, it's really great to see how the big guys are creating their sound you know and you can take you can after then you can take only the techniques you really need you can improve that improve them you can combine them and you can create your own sound which is what uh, what you should be trying to achieve 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is possible. You know what? I will just turn off this one. I will I just turn turn off the YouTube stream. And uh but I, you know, I really want to be online also on Facebook and on on Twitch, so I will keep these two. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. I mean, uh, I really appreciate your devices, but I already have a sound card. But um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> so uh, I turned down the volume, and you know what? Let's say we are done for now. Uh, let's say that this track is what we needed, what we wanted to achieve, and uh, let's say the track is completed like that. But in our case, it's just a construction kit type of track. You know, there is one verse, uh, there is a short build up maybe, and there is also uh, one drop. But uh, I will turn off this limiter from my master channel. And I can see, I can see right here that uh, the peaks are not hitting the zero. Um, the zero amount of decibels so that is good uh, I, can, I believe the track is not clipping and what I will do now is that I will render it to my you know, desktop whatever I will just render it yeah it's it's called twitch 01 first of all I will save it <laughs> and then I will render it just like that and uh, then we can try some mastering just mastering, not mixing, because that way I will be, I will be, I would have to uh, bounce all with the stamps. But let's say to that we want to master the track. I think that will be fun, right? But because of the streaming, I had to switch off to the audio cable guy, uh, audio <laughs> virtual, <laughs> virtual, virtual audio cable. And that way, I'm not able to use out uh, ASIO uh, audio drivers. So. Please stop telling me I should get an audio card. I mean, how stupid do you think I am? So, uh, let's try to master the, the track that we have created here. Uh, here is the Twitch 01. And it sounds like this right now. Uh, yeah, we were at 140 BPM, I guess. 50? Oh, let's see. You know, the FL Studio is great that uh, it's saving. Uh, when you, if you set that you want to save your sound, it's dice like that. I'm not sure if Ableton is able to do that, but FL Studio definitely is. Uh, you know, the BPM is written inside the sound, and then you can easily write there. Uh, you can easily read there in in every like a program. So that is a great tool. So we are so the track is set to 150 BPM and uh, it sounds like this.
so so this is what we've got here and what i will do now is that i will um add this fab filter pro l again on the master channel and i will also put there this uad precision multiband i mean i will use this one for now and then i will try to uh do the same job with some other plugins that you will be able to get i don't know for free maybe but this is just my favorite uh mastering plugin i'm using actually i'm i'm what i what i do for mastering is that i uh add some equalizer maybe as the first um first step just to be sure that everything is uh everything is in there or maybe sometimes i'm using it right after the multiband compression. So, uh, you know what, yeah, let's add there one more for now, just to be sure that we do not have there these low frequencies that we really don't need. And uh, we are good in high, so. I'm so pissed about the luck, but what, what we can do, uh, or what I saw in the frequency, that there are not much or many of uh, like low frequencies, so I will try to uh, boost this a bit. So as you can see, this uh, multiband compressor is dividing Uh, is divided into five sections and uh, that's what I need. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm just reading the chat right here because this guy is trying to help me with uh, with the lag issue. Maybe next time I will be able to stream a bit better. But uh, let me just answer him. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. I will check some more messages in there if there is something helpful. Uh, dee -dee -dee. Duck. So, yeah. Uh, you know, let's just go through all of these. Yeah, I believe the same thing we can do later with isotope. Uh, where do I have isotope ozone right here? Uh, do you want me to use seven or five? I will use five because I'm not that skilled with seven. We will see how it goes. But uh, the the UAD precision multiband still works better for me, so let's see what we got here. You know, first let me raise up the input volume a bit, so I actually uh, will be compressing some something. And right now, right now I'll be going through all of these like bandits, bands and I will be compressing them and, and playing with them. And I won't be speaking much because I need to listen to what I'm doing here and let's see what the result will be like. Hmm. I mean, the ratio could be a bit lower. Also, I like some shorter attack deck and uh, Let's see. You know, you can see how the sound is compressed by the movement of the of the shape. But since it's lagging that much, you know, it's uh, 
I mean, this is a really powerful technique that is not that time consuming, but it's, it has some really great like, output. So, yeah, let's try it like that. Let's add some gain in there. I'm just comp compressing these, I'm, compress I'm comp compressing really slightly. But I'm I'm actually doing the same. I'm actually uh, I'm actually doing the same stuff for all of these bands. You know, uh, I set the ratio from like three to five. Uh, I I set the attack quite short uh, to around t ten milliseconds to I don't know thirty. It depends on the band. It it, it depends on the sound. And I also set the release to around two hundred milliseconds. Uh, I mean, if you don't agree with me, you don't have to do it that way, but this is just the way I'm mastering the tracks. And uh, it works pretty, pretty well to me, so let's continue. Okay, and here is the band that we really need to play with. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see, uh, let's say we are good just like that. Um, so uh, what, I did the, what I did there is that I have cut it off the low frequencies, I've added a bit of high frequencies and then I added this multi-band compressor uh, and then I play with the individual bands, you know, just to um, just to see what I did there, you know, I compressed it a bit. You can see by the movement of these um, of these curves how and how much and what, you know how much are are those individual bands uh, compressed, and also how much did I gain back? Uh, how much volume did I put put back to the to the sound? So let's let's check it out.
you can see I, I compressed quite hard it's like really mid frequencies or maybe a bit more mid low frequencies because I, I felt like uh, they really need to be a bit more in your face and what I also did there is that I heard some like much frequencies in here so uh, it really sounded well when I did this, uh, this this peak when I cut it just slightly these frequencies out of the track right after the multiband and also I, I took off some of these uh, mid frequencies and I, I added some of the high frequencies again and I also uh, raised up the output level volume so uh, this is just the result, you know. At the end, I have this Fab Filter Pro L, and uh, right now I will probably just, you know, save it as. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ, everything is wrong right now. So, okay, I will save it just like that. Twitch zero one master, and that's that's all for now. I will probably check some of your. Uh, some of your previews and uh, you know what, what shall we try now I mean the master is done we can maybe uh, I don't know you can try to open a serum uh, and see how, how it does you know will go we can maybe try to add or to do some uh, future chords and for that purpose I will open this um, MIDI folder from the future bass and trap AMO pack and I will just uh, randomly put there oh this this one looks the same or oh, this one is for piano so let's try to add this one and what I will do now is I will open the serum folder presets chords and uh, try to I think I love you I think I love you chords that is nice I mean, what more do you need for your track, <laughs> you know? This present is just so sick. Uh, let's raise up the volume, you know? Let's raise up the volume. Um, let's add there some. Um, I will open your chat in there so I can see what you are writing me. Let's add there some, some kicks, maybe? Yeah, I, I really would like to create a track from scratch. I was trying to do that, but I need to work more on my CPU uh, use, usage. Uh, so I will do that, don't worry. Maybe uh, I will start a new track uh, right, right, uh, right during next stream, but today I won't be able to finish the track that I was working on because uh, my CPU is not able to handle it. You know, I will, I will maybe, uh, <laughs> I will maybe open this uh, Red Hat uh, Future Base Essentials pack, which is packed by me. Released on WA Production. I will try to. I think I liked. Nah, this one. Eh? This one is quite cool. I will maybe uh, layer it with clap. This one is nice. Let's try some more. Oh, this one is so cool. So I will just use this. Uh, the first snare, I will use only for. Uh, for a background sound, you know, that creates the like sub body so uh, I will just uh, I will layer these three sounds and uh, as you can see already I already wrote them to uh, the to the mixer channels and I will now group them you know I I will all I will tell them all to uh, row to this track only so they will be <laughs> routed to <laughs> this track only as I just told you and I will add on this like bus channel I will add also a compressor and as a cell compressor and 
and uh, I will compress these three sounds together. Do it just like that. You know what, maybe I will I will use a different snare. This one sounds cool. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Let's try to... Uh, not to over affect things. Uh, I will just copy and paste it right there. I mean, those kicks I just did there are ter terrible. I don't know why I put it there. I put it them there this way. But what I will do now is that I will uh, roll this um, serum plugin to a mixer channel and I will add this fruity balance as. Uh, is for the sidechain effect. So, boom, and then it will follow all drum samples, mainly the, I mean, mainly the kicks and and, and snare samples, and see what we will receive. Um, let's try to do it just like that. I don't know. Let's see. I really thought we will be able to uh, do at least something today, but obviously we won't. But still, let's do this. Let's add there. Um, let's add there a bass right under this uh, this chord sound that will that will follow the lower melody of the chords. And will be uh, will be created by you know, will be created by copying the, the original sound, but uh, adding a different wave shape. I guess let's try to add this one. Come on. Yeah, this is cool. This sounds dope. At least we have something. But we are not able to listen to it unless we will bounce it. So, um, yeah. I'm not sure how shall I do that. But, you know, let's try to record it to Edison and see what we've got here.
Can be can be it for the basic groove, you know, for the basic idea. And uh, once I will handle the computer issues, I will be able to work on this idea more. I will save it for now. Uh, yeah, that's exactly how I wanted to save it. You know, zero five. I only wanted to. Okay, here we go. CPU is dying. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but it's just like this, you know. Um, as I as I told earlier, I, I will I will work on this <laughs> issue because uh, I'm just you know sad about this. Uh, I really was looking forward to this track, but never mind, never mind. Uh, let's listen to some more previews and uh, see what you guys do you got for me. And uh, I think that's all for me for now. It's exactly tame. Uh, sorry 9 p.m. here so uh, I really do thank you for watching I'm so sorry for the luck I, I will do my best to fix it next time you know, believe me I have a good CPU but I just need to find the right uh, options and to make it work more smoothly so thank you and right now I'm stopping the stream bye <laughs>